Elliot Page recently won praise for posting his first bare-chested poolside pic since coming out as trans at the end of 2020. While the photo no doubt made headlines, I wonder what pool that was at. Elliot was living in a beautiful mid-century home in Hollywood for a few years, but put it on the market at the end of 2018, and before that lived in a starter home in Studio City. Today we'll check out a couple of the actors' properties, we even found the listing. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Elliot Page is a Canadian actor and producer who's received several awards and accolades and had his breakthrough role starring in the film Hard Candy. He received acclaim for his lead role in the movie Juno and went on to score other TV and film gigs. At the end of 2020, Page came out as transgender, which has been a big deal in headlines since, and in March 2021, Elliot became the first openly trans man to appear on the cover of Time magazine. At the time of this recording, Elliot has amassed a net worth of $12 million, but has lived in some pretty humble abodes. There's not much information about whether or not Elliot has invested in some new real estate recently, so the actor may currently be renting, considering he listed his mid-century house at the end of 2018. While this home was just a simple bungalow, it offered some gorgeous features and quite the backyard space. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a moment. Hey guys, I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one featuring the homes of actor Elliot Page. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new content daily. As always, you can follow me over on Instagram and let me know who you want to see featured next. Now let's get into this video. Before we get into Elliot's more recent residence, let's check out where it all began, his starter home in Studio City, Los Angeles. Studio City is an area in the San Fernando Valley just over the hills from the Hollywood bustle with quaint neighborhoods and tree-lined residential streets. Ventura Boulevard is nearby and offers several trendy restaurants and shops. Will Acre Park is nearby as well and is full of woodsy hiking trails with panoramic views of the valley, so there's a little something for everyone. Four years after starring in Juno, Elliot bought this humble abode in 2011 for $885,000 and later selling it at a profit in 2014 for just over $1 million. Coming in at just 1,500 square feet of space, this Studio City property acted as a charming starter home for the actor and offered two beds and 1.5 baths throughout. Elliot's former home was perched on a prime dead-end street location in Studio City and it was built in 1953 but renovated and upgraded since. It was designed in a Cape Cod style and while the home was modestly sized, it still offered amenities like a sunny swimming pool out back. And we do know Elliot likes to lounge by the pool. The formal entry out front consisted of a simple blue painted door which led into the open concept living room. This space had soaring beamed ceilings, plenty of natural light, hardwood floors and a brick fireplace. Multi-door access here also allowed for easily getting to the pool and outdoor deck. A small kitchen would have been perfect for Elliot to prepare a home cooked meal, but it was pretty unassuming and may not have been what you'd expect from a celebrity. Still, the space had enough room for chef grade stainless appliances and a breakfast nook. The formal dining room also had high ceilings and from more recent listing picks, it seems that Elliot's house has been updated and refreshed again more recently. Elliot's former master suite was simple but came with a renovated ensuite bath as well as a spacious walk-in closet and direct access to the pool grounds. My favorite feature of this property was definitely the backyard. I can see why a famous actor like Elliot would have went for this place, especially after his fame from Juno since there was a ton of privacy. The combination of walls, hedges and tall trees provided both shade and security so no nosy neighbors were able to spy. The gardens out back had multiple areas to lounge and entertain, including a dining space with string lights overhead and a cozy corner boasting an outdoor fireplace. The cute swimming pool was the perfect size and the proper also had access to hillside paths. As Elliot moved on up in Hollywood and worked on his successful acting career, he also upgraded his real estate, which was the reason that Studio City Home was sold. Around 2014, Elliot scooped up a mid-century bungalow for just over $1.7 million off of tennis superstar Venus Williams. Located in the Hollywood Hills, more specifically 
Nichols Canyon area near the Sunset Strip and Elliott's Old Hood Studio City, this beautiful bungalow offered panoramic views over Los Angeles. The property was set behind gates alongside a spacious motor court with room for multiple cars and a double car carport, while the classic mid-century built house offered 1,500 square feet of space inside. Elliott's low-slung bungalow may have been on the modest side, but the open plan layout offered more than enough space, along with three beds and two baths. By the sounds of it, the house was the same size as Elliot's previous abode, so maybe the actor has a type. A narrow gravel and stone pathway leads up to the front entry of the house with beams overhead and walking in. There's a large open concept living area. There's more than one sitting space combined in the living room where there's a bit of a retro vibe, as well as features like a stone fireplace that's original to the property and wood beam ceiling. The other end of the room offers a dining table, while the entire space has access to the sparkling blue pool. Elliot's house was furnished with a mix of contemporary and vintage pieces, which blended perfectly with the home's classic and modern architecture, while honey blonde hardwood floors ran underfoot. The galley kitchen was a step above the one at Elliot's previous home, and it had a skylight overhead, smooth terrazzo floors, custom wood cabinets, and sleek appliances. Paige also transformed one of the three bedrooms into his home office and finished it with vintage furniture like the wooden desk, while there was also a glass door to the yard here. The cozy guest rooms had pitched ceilings and more glass sliders to the decks outside, as well as built-in custom wardrobes. The master suite Elliot formerly occupied was set up in a neutral color scheme, and the attached bath was bright and airy with a massive glass shower and natural light. Furthermore, bedrooms were set up along the side of the home, which overlooked Nichols Canyon, providing beautiful views. Floor-to-ceiling walls of glass throughout the single-level home slid open to the outdoor areas, which included a deck that hung over the hillside and overlooked the trees, as well as a large swimming pool surrounded by sun loungers. While this pool was even more amazing than Elliot's previous one, it still doesn't appear to be the recent pool shown off in his topless Instagram pic. While Elliot lived at this Hollywood abode for almost five years, he shared it with his ex at one point, so there probably were too many former memories here anyways. In 2019, Elliot sold the post and beam mid-century estate for just below $2 million. So now we've taken a look at the two homes of Elliot Page, or the two that the actor formerly owned, that is. While we do know he's enjoying a home with a pool these days as well, it's unknown whether he's renting or purchased a new property to call home. Out of the Studio City starter home and the Hollywood Hollywood Hills bungalow that Elliot lived at, which was your fate? Honestly, I think his properties were very similar, and it seems that so far Elliot likes something with modern features but still pretty humble. Would you guys choose the backyard at the first house or the second one? I think the more recent property had the nicer pool, but I love the cozy spots at the Studio City backyard like the fire pit better. Be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!